If you've got metastatic ER positive HER2 negative breast cancer, what are the treatment options when the CDK inhibitors stop working? One option may be to switch to a different CDK inhibitor. There is some evidence to suggest this might work, but we don't have accurate trial data yet. There are five other options, and this is where genomic medicine will play a huge role in the future. We'll be able to screen cancers for specific mutations and treat them accordingly. The first drug is Everolimus. This inhibits a protein called MTOR, or mTOR, which some cancer cells use to develop resistance to drugs like letrozole. Based on the Bolero 2 trial, it is given with an aromatase inhibitor called exemestane. The second drug is called alpelacib, and about 40% of ER-positive HER2-negative breast cancers have a PI3 kinase mutation. The SOLAR1 trial gave it to patients with that mutation whose cancers had grown on a CDK inhibitor, and it significantly slowed down growth compared to chemotherapy. However, it's not a nice drug to take, and a quarter of the patients in the trial stopped taking it because of the side effects. The third drug is called Elasistrant, or Orsurdu, which was approved in America in January 2023 for patients with an ESR1 mutation whose cancer has grown on a CDK inhibitor. And this was based on the results of the Emerald trial, and I hope that it will soon be available in the UK. The fourth drug is NHER2, which is normally used to treat HER2-positive cancers. But the Destiny Breast 04 trial gave it to stage 4 ER-positive breast cancer patients with a low level of HER2 receptor expression whose cancers had grown after one or two treatments, and it slowed down the time to progression compared to patients who were given chemotherapy alone. The fifth drug is really hard to pronounce, so I'm just going to call it Trodelvi, and this was previously only available to patients with triple negative breast cancer. But in February 2023, the FDA approved its use for patients with ER positive breast cancer that had grown after hormone therapy, a CDK inhibitor, and at least two lines of chemotherapy. The Tropics 2 trial showed it improved progression free and overall survival, with an extra 20% of patients still alive at 12 months. So there is hope on the horizon. If you want to know more about the latest breast cancer treatments, click on this video that covers groundbreaking research that could stop breast cancer cells spreading to the lungs altogether. If you've got any further questions, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. I'm Dr Liz Arudin and thanks for watching my channel.